Man, what up, YouTube, bro? Listen, let me tell y'all something, bro. I had every intention on dropping this video tomorrow. I mean, today. But uh, I got off work yesterday a little bit later than I expected and uh, got some food. Took a shower, ate, and then next thing I know, on this same very couch, like around 7, I went to sleep. I ain't even, bro, the heat in Celtics game wasn't even on yet. Next thing I know, I'm waking up and it's three o'clock. It's five right now, so I, I just found I actually found this um tripod I had bought a little while ago. It's alright, you know, the microphone and everything is kind of decent. You know, I paid twenty dollars for it, so to explain why I believe that it's like that. But the topic of this video is women should be the least of your concerns, and the reason why I say that, bro, if you're not where you want to be in life as a man, why are you even worried about women right now? And I, I know it's easier said than done. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a lot easier saying that you shouldn't. More than one pinky first, you dig? Um, uh, but it's got to be done. If you're not where you want to be, like like I said, I'm in my mom's basement. Nothing wrong with it. You know, paying rent and everything. I'm driving my brother's car. Lost my car almost a year ago. Nothing wrong with it, and I'm grateful that I have that to be able to fall back on during hard times. Now that I'm starting to see some money on a regular basis again, I got lift, got a good job, ready to get job number two, hitting the gym hard again, bro. So, you know, I'm really getting myself back about that hole. One thing I can always tell men, especially from experience, anytime I had to build some momentum for myself, I would always mess that up by getting complacent. Anytime I built some momentum, whether it be the gym or my finances, my quality of women went up. So while everybody likes to sit here, and I know especially on Facebook and Instagram, they, they talk about, yo, she ain't a dime this, she ain't a dime that, man. Everybody ain't messing with dimes, bro. Somebody lying. Now, have you seen some of these brothers, babe, mom? And you want to convince me that you got a dime? All right. You lie to me. But, you know, it's just like, hey, bro, listen, and, but what you'll notice is, like, I can speak for myself. If anytime that's happened, you know, you get, like, a good three, four, five girl rotation, you know, some solid eights, maybe even higher, and then you start to get complacent. You stop going to the gym as hard. You stop getting overtime, you know, them overtime hours that they offer you at the job. You stop, ah, I don't really need that. My 40 is cool. And, look, if I get, like, 42, I'd be all right with that. Instead of getting that 60, maybe even 80 putting that grind, putting that nose to the grind, you feel me? You know, standing, reading, and doing your writing and everything, staying up a little bit later just to make sure you checked all, everything off your goal list for the day. You get complacent. I know I can speak for myself, I have. And dealing with women is a lot. Not even just money, but it's a lot of time being invested into them. You know, women, as much as they are nurturing creatures, they need to be nurtured themselves. They need to be loved on. They need to be guided. They need to be led by a man, a masculine man. And if you're not where you are and you want to be in life, you can't do it. But guys, yo, if anybody's ever had that little stint in their life into the brothers that watch this video that feel like they are where they want to be in life, don't it feel good when you could just pull up somewhere and you don't even got to look at the prices on the menu when you were a shorty? Man, go on and get that, man. What? You, tri you tripping off steak? You tripping off steak? They said it's like fifty something. Yo, order that. Matter of fact, order two because you thought I was one of them. <laughs> Sit steak. What? Get the dessert too. Get the French onion dip too. I don't. I don't even know what. If you thought I was one of them, bro, it feel good just to be able to be like, yo, look, we going. We going. It's date night and it ain't no picks. We ain't. We ain't checking notes. We ain't checking no prices. We going here and then because we bored, we going there. Should we going end the night? At 6 a.m. doing whatever the fuck we want to do. Whether that's in my city or if we go to New York, we go overseas. Whatever we doing, we doing it. Bro, it's so good to be able to do something like that. The problem is, a lot of y'all will save up just to be able to do it once. And I'm not saying you should always do it. But, guys, focus on getting to where you want to be in life first. See, a lot of, a lot of men call themselves kings. Being a king, and you got to earn the right to be a man. You ain't born into it. You got to earn that by the work you put in, by the value you bring to this world. You earn that. You earn the right to be the king. That's why I like a lot of the older movies and anime shows because you get to see the hero's journey. 
from beginning, middle to end. Beginning where they don't know, like Dragon Ball, one of my favorite enemies, Goku. Vegeta's one of my favorite characters, but I'll use Goku because his story is a little bit more relatable for this topic. You know, you see Goku constantly getting his ass kicked. Before he turned Super Saiyan, Piccolo was crashing him. He beat Vegeta, but Vegeta beat the shit out of him. Um, you know, he had to beat the Ginyu Force. But every time he took an L, Goku was in that hyperbaric chamber, recovering and always looking to get better. What did I, what, what, why did he beat me that time? Boom, that's what happened. Yo, why did he beat me? Until he, he kept studying himself and kept working on himself. And then, boom, Super Saiyan. And now Frieza can't do nothing with him. Okay, now Super Saiyan is old. Now it's stronger creatures out there. It's, it's bigger obstacles out there. It's going to take something bigger than Super Saiyan. Now I'm, guys, I got to take it up a level higher. Super Saiyan 2. But it's just like, you can't enjoy your time with a woman. If finances is always in the back of your mind, you you thinking about going on a date and you like, damn, I, all right, we gonna go here and the menu is this, like, like, eh, I don't know, like, nah, let's just see if she if she cool with just, you know, doing this X Y Z. And I'm not saying like you should be looking to spend a, a boatload of money, especially if you just met her. Me personally, if I just met her, all right, <laughs> we we gonna spend some money, but we ain't we ain't balling balling. You better chill out. But, you know, I'm just saying, like, women can kind of sense that energy where you penny pinching, so to speak. Women can kind of sense, like, there's something about him to where, I don't know, I think this nigga faking it. You know what I'm saying? Like, guys, yo, when you work on yourself, whether it be getting in shape, whether it be, and me personally, I think every man should be in a gym. No ifs, ands, or buts, bro. It, it's actually pathetic. To see men cry and complain about women wanting in shape guys. I don't care if she's fat. Like, bro, it's pathetic. Like, bro, I, I scroll Facebook more than I'd like to, especially social media. I'm getting better at it, but, you know, like, you're scrolling up and down there and men talking about, man, how y'all want a man to pay for everything? A woman should be able to, yeah, look, I don't want no bum to come to the relationship, but. Hey, she's stepping into my kingdom. I built this kingdom. I'm the king of this motherfucking kingdom. So what I say goes. I pay for everything over here. So it's nothing for me to invite her into my kingdom and then say, yo, look, go get your nails done. You're being annoying right now. Like, I need to really focus on work. And you talking about, babe, I ain't seen you in a long time. Yo, go, go, go do something. Go, go, go out with your friends like that. I need you out of my space so I can write these jokes. I need you out of my space so I can do this content so I can focus on working out. Most of y'all can't do that. Most divorces end because of finances. Because, hey, bro, I don't care who you are. See, a lot of dudes, men and women talk that highly confident stuff. Let that money start to get funny. Hey, bro, it's a lot of dudes, because I was younger, and a lot of, I wasted a lot of time in my 20s trying to compete with other men. You know, you'd be on a job and dudes talking about, yeah, I was messing with this joint and that joint. I had her like this and everything like that. Oh, my God. You know, she gave me the, you know what I'm saying? And he's like, man, I know he ain't, he ain't me. I can do that. You feel me? Like, so you, you start to spin your wheels and start to go talk to this joint, talk to that joint, just trying to compete. And then you, you coming up with your own stories and let them know you don't even know, bro, you wasted a lot of time. You wasted time and money. Now, granted, I said in the last video. Sure, you can get that money back, but why even do it just because you can get it back? But, bro, you will never get that time back. And I spent a lot of time fucking with ain't shit bitches. Trying to compete with other men. Trying to say that, oh, yeah, I get this, I get that. Bro, look, I'm telling you. To all the young men watching this, maybe you still in high school. Maybe you just graduated, you going to college. Maybe you in your early 20s and you don't know where to go. Put your fucking nose to the grind. I'm not saying don't date. I'm not saying don't have conversation. Don't entertain women. What I'm saying is, if you ain't checking off everything, did I work out? Did I pray? Did I meditate? Did I did I did I go to the job and say, okay, can I get some overtime here? Did I study for my exam? Did I, you know, my certification course? Maybe you trying to get, you know, go to trade school. Whatever it has to be done. Did I do all? that before I worry about what a woman is doing, before I worry about what I can do with a woman this weekend. If the answer is no, 
You can't have fun, bro. Y'all worried about single moms? Don't worry about her. That's her. That's that's her life. That don't worry about them. Y'all worried about what these women say they want out of a man? Why y'all worried about that? Women want men that's in shape. Why aren't you already in the gym? I don't get offended by that because I want to be in shape for me. I've been a fat guy or a husky guy my whole life. I want that for me. I can give a fuck what you want. I want my I want my money up for me. I want my experiences up for me. I don't want to just be like, all right, well, cool. Um, I gotta use my vacation time, and then um, now I gotta see where I gotta go, and it does it fit in the budget? Oh, let me get let me work some overtime so I can go do this. No, I want to be able to like, I want to go here, and I'm going this date, pay it, and, I, and the only time I'm actually worried about it is when the date's coming up, and I'm just making sure that I packed everything. I want that for me. I want experiences for me. The women are a byproduct of that, my nigga. Hey, bro, if you're not the man in your city, get your life together. And guess what? You can go to another city and be the man in that city. But the problem is, bro, society has allowed us to focus on a bunch of shit that's really not important to us. It's not conducive for success. Especially a lot of the rap stuff that comes out today. Like, you know, Money over, you know what I'm saying, chasing, you know what I'm saying, having a whole bunch of women with you. Hey, bro, listen, first of all, a lot of those rap videos, a lot of those women are paid to be there. And then once they say cut, some of them rappers ain't mingling with them women. Shit, a lot of those, that property and those, those money, that's the label stuff. When they say cut, sometimes all that stuff is going and you that same rapper in the room by himself. Like, oh, yeah. You want to know why a lot of these rappers be mentally depressed and all that? Because they live in a lie. It ain't just with the street stuff. When they say, when that director say cut, and the label like, all right, man, good job. And everything's gone, and now he got to walk back to his car by himself, and and I was just living a lie. And I'm promoting a lie, you feel me? But it feels so much better, guys. And, bro, if you're willing to put your head down for 6 to 12 months, and really put your nose to the grind and set aside, look, maybe I'm going to go out every other weekend and enjoy myself. I'm not going to overdo it, but enjoy myself because as humans, we need that. Because what I realize is not going out is you become a, a social hermit. Like, you become socially awkward. So you don't want to ever kind of take that away from you because most people never get that back once they, once they get over it. Look at Bill Gates. Like, I, I don't think Bill Gates actually enjoys his life. I, I know he's, a, he's really successful. But he's not healthy. I don't want to be Bill Gates when I get to a certain point. I want to be that 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 man in his forties, fifties. Like, damn, like, how old did you say you were? You sure? Let me see your birth certificate. Let me see. Let me see your license. All right. I want to be that. Like the black, the black Bruce Wayne, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? The black James Bond. But guys, it takes work, and that's the beauty of being a man. The work that is required to be able to call yourself a man. Most of y'all calling yourself men because y'all got a penis in between your legs and you can procreate because you can get a girl pregnant. Yet you still out here complaining about how much you make a week or how much you don't make a week. Well, if you're not making enough a week or if you're not happy with your job, why are you spending so much time on social media? Part of being a man is realizing, like, I'm not happy with my situation. Why am I playing the game? Why am I watching Power, BMF, NBA, NFL? Yeah, you, that's a that's a privilege. Entertainment is a privilege. But societies allow entertainment to be able to distract y'all from being able to get on y'all purpose. Guys, as an adult, if you can't check off the important things that you set for yourself, only you know what you got to get done to get to where you got to get to. So if you ain't checking it off, what you watching the games for? Catch the highlights. If you ain't checking it off, what you going on dates for? If you ain't checking it off, what you what you going out to eat for? What you going out with your homies for? And sure, certain people gonna be like, yo, tomorrow ain't promised. You never know. Somebody could die today. Yeah, I can die today and never, ever, ever reach my potential or even know what the fuck it feels like to be on a mission towards my potential. So if that means us not seeing each other for a couple months to maybe even a couple years while I'm 
and grinding, then hey. Oh well. But guys, like I said in the other video, I'm tired of being average, bro. It's like KD said he was tired of being number two. I don't agree with how he went about getting that. But hey bro, certain men have that calling. There's something greater out there for me. And women are a byproduct of that. Ain't nothing flyer than not having to worry about your finances, yo. When, when it's time to get fly, yo, baby, go get your hair done. Go get all that from head, from head to toe. Go take care of all that. It's on. So when y'all step out, man, the, the, the driver open the door and y'all just step out like it's a red carpet treatment. Ain't nothing flyer than that, bro. But you'll never get it if you're not willing to sacrifice. Sacrifice is hurt, bro. When a woman wants to be a, a mother, she sacrifices her body to give birth to that baby. Her body will never be the same again. When a man wants to be a father, he sacrifices his finances because 60 to 70% of that will never go to him again, even after that 18 years. A lot of y'all believe in the Bible and God and Jesus and everything. I believe in God. I'm not sure which religion I believe in, but a lot of y'all believe in the, the every single story in the Bible. God sacrificed his son so that we can sin without us dropping dead. Sacrifices hurt. Love my friends. Love playing the game. Love watching my Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Love watching Bron James possibly get another fifth ring. But guess what? If I'm not progressing, how can I reward myself with that? But guess what, guys? Glass half full type of mentality. I can put the work in and eventually, shit, I might be able to sit on the floor. No, fuck Mike. I'm going to be able to get floor seats one day. And maybe it won't be Bron by the time that happens, but I'll get, be able to get floor seats and be able to watch the game instead of watching from my house. In enough time, I'll be able to get suites to the games and be able to watch my Tampa Bay Buccaneers from the, from the, from the owner suites, from the press box, big money we talking about. I'll be able to get, get close enough to the fight to be able to shoot. Somebody get punched hard enough, you may be able to feel sweat. Like Nipsey said in that song, and if I'm at the fight, you better bet, you better bet sweat hits my arm, or something like that. But I look at it like that, like as much as it hurts to deny myself those pleasures, too much pleasure is going to get you to where you don't want to be. Do you want to be in your mom's basement still? Do you want to be driving your brother's car because you lost your car a couple months back? Doing a damn good job getting myself out of that hole, but like I said, now that I'm starting to get a little bit more choosing signals again i know better now i was leaving a laundromat the other day nice little chocolate joint thick joint too ass fat giving me choosing signals i just got done working out i had a nice little pump shirt was fitting nice the shoulders are sitting up the chest was all all out and everything arms hugging the sleeves choosing i know better what are we gonna do we're gonna she's gonna come over here a couple times gonna clap a couple times we're gonna Go out a couple times to eat and then when she realizes that that's my limit because i'm on a budget budget like most women they can't be at the beginning and work with you from there that's her right she doesn't have to but as a man bro don't waste that time doing that you know what i'm saying like look i understand that right now is a very important time in my life bro and i can either end up Setting myself free and being able to take care of certain things that my parents may have to deal with and being able to help siblings out and certain family members and friends out. Or I can continue to be down the same path that I was in my 20s. And then by the time I'm 60, 70 years old, I'm waiting doors at Walmart if they allow you to do that still because they might have some AI technology doing that by the time that time comes. Or when I'm 60 and 70, I'm cleaning bathrooms or... Being a teacher's aide, sitting in a class with a bunch of badass kids trying to earn a check so I can survive. The choice is yours, man. But like I said, man, women are a byproduct of the hard work you got to put in. And most of y'all are, most of y'all going to hear this message and then just keep going. Y'all going to keep doing what you do. But here's what's going to happen. You're going to be out with your girl one day. And that guy that put the work in is going to pull up right next to both of y'all. And you're going to look at him, and you're going to know he put in that work. And here's what's going to happen. You're going to look right at your girl, and you're going to see how she's looking at him. 
she may not talk to him, and shit, he may not even look at the girl, because that's how cold he is, he like, he probably don't even see y'all there, but y'all see him, and while he walking in there, I want y'all to look at everybody around in that vicinity, they all looking at him, and for all you know, shit, he might get a bat, a, a baddie might pull out the passenger seat with him, the room stops, bro, show stop. I want to be that. So you can either be the guy that's looking and then later on you argue with the girl. I seen how you was looking at him. Duh. That's a cold motherfucker, bro. You chose not to put the work in. She got eyes. She ain't blind. She seen it. You did too. That's why you mad. But like I said, here I am with another video, guys. I appreciate y'all for watching, man. Comment, subscribe, like the video. You know what I'm saying spread the word, man, guys. I'm like I said, man. I'm I'm gonna be back with another one today for y'all. I missed yesterday, so I'm dropping two. But I'm out, man. Enjoy y'all day.